What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this is in this video. Well, okay. So this uh this is kind of like of a bonus video of uh the previous video that I posted a week ago of me adding suspension and bunch of other things to my go-kart. And one of the things were uh I I upgraded my motor, my out motor right here. This is the old one. And one of you guys commented uh how I converted it into an uh a motor from an alternator and what controller do I use so um, if you're watching this I'm sorry it took nine months to up, uh, uh, post a video on how I did it uh, but here we are um, so this is my old alternator right here it's off a uh, Toyota Camry I think um, it's an 80 amp alternator so it's like a smaller one and um, all I did I mean I took off the pulley in and put a gear on for that but this is this is the fun part this is this is how I converted it into an out uh, a motor so you take this part back here this is this is where um, what this is like the thing that makes an alternator and alternators so this is called a diode pack what it has is are these little diodes right here we got a uh, three of them right here and these little diodes have these connectors that went to each of these little connections. There's one, two, three, and four over here on this specific alternator. Sometimes they vary from three to like six different uh, outputs. So what you do, what you do is you take off the diode pack, you cut all the diodes because you do not need them because they're basically one way. Uh, one-way uh, check valves but for electricity and so they what they do is they prevent electricity from going back in they only come at like out or something like that and then what you do is you grab your three wires and you connect them to uh, you only need three uh, this specific one has four so the one that you, you take a look on these little connectors and the one that has like the most amount of wires going to it that's the one that you do not need. Like you can see, for example, this one has two wires. That one has two. This one also has two. And this one has like, I don't know, five or whatever. So that's the one that you do not need. And what you do is you grab three different wires connecting, uh, connected, soldered on here. And then, uh, since this does not have a permanent magnet, it requires like an electromagnet. You have these brushes right here and what you do uh i leave the diode pack like this just so it's more easier to connect Hold on. so this is how it looks like when it's all put together like this uh the, the wires get like tucked in and what you do is you get two wires over here these are your uh 12 volts right here you connect 12 volts it does not matter which one's positive which one's negative it does not matter just as long as it gets 12 volts here you do not need to go any higher otherwise you probably will mess them up so 12 volts are is fine here uh and then he, uh, i just grab the cap and guide all the wires through and then uh you just add some end connectors and then you hook it up to the go-kart all right now we're here at my go-kart sorry for the bad lighting but uh so this is how it looks like on my go-kart i have this controller right here this is a 48 volt 2000 watt actually it goes from 48 to 72 volts so you can use this to up to 72 volts from 48 to 72 2000 watt uh controller off amazon it's like 40 dollars 60 40 dollars or 60 bucks somewhere around there i don't exactly remember uh, it's a hallless one, so you, you don't need the hall sensor. And then we got our battery. This is from an e-bike. It's 50 volts or what up 58 volt, like full charge. But it's like a 48 volt kind of thing. So uh, what you do is so you grab. I have my three wires going from my alternator. It doesn't really matter which. Uh, order you have uh, you have them in just as long as uh, it, 
works. It should all work. It doesn't shouldn't matter which one, which is which. The only thing that you might have to do is swap the green and the yellow. Uh, if you want, if you have like the motor on the left side and it's spinning, because uh, what the green and yellow wire does is if if you swap, if it spins, like if the main direction is clockwise, you just swap the green and yellow and it its main direction will be counterclockwise, like for me here. Uh, and then you just grab your little electromagnet right here, connect 12 volts and 48 volts and then just press the gas pedal so you need to have 12 volts otherwise this is what will happen if you don't have 12 volts right now it's off see does this like it jerks it makes this weird noise and it jerks see it doesn't want to like go constantly so you, all you do is and then you connect 12 volts that's that's actually really weird though it wasn't supposed to spin. Normally, when you put it under load, see, it jerks like this. So, turn on 12 volts and... And it goes. So you, you need 12 volts here, no matter what. Otherwise it won't work. And then you just connect the three wires. And then, reverse. Uh, all you do is you connect the two reverse wires that are on the controller and it goes in reverse. It spins a lot slower in reverse, uh, but yeah, that's basically how I did it. I just converted that, converted my alternator and that's the controller I use. I will leave a link down in the description below uh just for any of you guys if you guys uh want to use the same controller that i'm using just for more convenience and that's it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching uh hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time peace